What you got, Chevy? We've been here, uh, we, we had this brilliant idea. Well, I had this brilliant idea. Uh, that all these roots, we don't need an excavator. We could just dig them out ourselves with shovels. No problem. No problem. We, there was problems. <laughs> it's a lot more work than we thought it would be. It took us like half an hour to dig out two bushes together. And we're just taking a break. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> pouring sweat. I had an asthma attack. <laughs> Those, those roots are like as thick as my arm, which isn't saying much for a human, but for saying for a root, that's pretty thick. Chevy was just helping us out. Yeah, he did. Chevy, come here. Help me get these roots out of here. We tried to pull them out of here. Uh, we got them, mostly, yes, yes. but there's no way we can uh, get it, Chevy. Here, Chevy, get this one. Get this one. Get it. Pull it out of there. Get it, Chevy. Get those roots out of there. Oh, good boy. Get, get him. Get oh, oh, he's happy he with that a little bit. Oh, you, Diesel, it. you give it a shot. Go ahead, Diesel. Just don't hurt your mouth. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. Wow. It's all about which one you pick. <laughs> you just gotta pick the good ones. Such a smart boy. So, yeah, we, we thought that it would be a lot easier. Uh, no, we're gonna need an excavator. So, I think we're gonna focus on clearing the bush instead. <coughs> Getting that all cut down, then we can just carry the sticks away. I just got to try to cut them down low enough that hopefully our mower can get over it. Get it, Diesel. Get it, Diesel. Get it, Diesel. Determination. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Chevy, he did what you couldn't. Muscle man. Wow. Go get him. Get it. Get him, Chevy. Go get him. Go get him. He doesn't um. know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he probably needs Oh, no. So we pulled out our awning today for the first time and it was all full of water. So I have it draining off to the side there. I could actually level it out now already. It's no longer white as you can see. It's now gray and black. I don't think it ever was white. I it think was. it was I don't think so. Not the whole thing. I think it went from white there. You can see it, then it slowly turned darker going this way. I feel like it was always white. The neighbors just let their dog out. <laughs> They, they're usually pretty good about getting them to be quiet, though. It's just not used to neighbors being here yet. There we go. See? He's quiet. So we got a lot more clearing done. You'll see there's more big piles out here at the front. Like I was saying before, there's no way we're going to be digging these roots out by hand. But hey, can't say we didn't try. We'll get an excavator, a little mini excavator in here, and it'll make cake work of it. Is that a saying? So this is where the bush came up to before we got here. And we cleared it all the way back there yet, from this rock back to there. Got to mowed in here a little bit, but it's very hard to mow because of all these roots sticking up. And we may push it back a little bit further yet, or we may just leave it shaded and treed like this in this section. Little trails leading through here. We're thinking of clearing it all the way up to the edge here, which would mean all of this has to come down yet. But not today. Not today. We may leave it. I think we'll probably leave some of the bigger ones just for some shade in our side yard. Because the house will be right over there. And then all this yet. Oh yes, it's like an enchanted forest. <laughs> we'll have trails leading through there and everything where we can just go on like nature walks and stuff. That'll be fun. We're both pretty tired today. Britt worked really hard piling up all these sticks. I helped her with those out there, but she did lots of it. Most of it, actually. I was trying to mow down what grass I could and cut down more of these bushes. That's our progress for this week. Now it's time to head back home and shower up, clean up, put all the tools away. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. We had a bunch of errands to run this morning. That's why I'm not at work today. Had to go see the bank. We had uh, a couple of other appointments out here. And for the rest of the afternoon, it's such a beautiful day. We didn't want to just go and waste it sitting inside. I figure why not come out here. I 
just had to boost the camper and <laughs> use the truck battery to open up the awning. It's a power awning, but the battery's dead, so I also had to boost the, the mower over here, too. Nothing a Chevy can't do. How you feeling, Britt? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> feeling good about the work we got done? Your fur's gonna have to take an Advil before bed, but <laughs> the old back can't take it. You did work really hard. <laughs> yeah, needed to be done. Felt good. It's always getting there. Feel, always feels good to get lots of sun and lots of exercise. We almost forgot a shovel. Oh yeah, I saw that there. And we gotta put the awning back in. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna keep this open for Chevy. Got power coming from the Chevy to the Rockwood. I'm gonna pull this thing in. See if I can set you down here properly so you can get a view of it. It's nice to have a power awning, but it's also a little bit inconvenient when the battery's dead.